Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very wonderful moment. Today's date is of course 15th of May 2022 and I have a video to play for all of you watching and listening to my voice. The video that I'm about to play for you right now is from Pa Ayo Adebanjo. A very wonderful man indeed. It's not the video about talking about Igbo presidency because he has been standing tall propagating the Igbo presidency since for, uh, for the past one and a half year now. This very man, an elder state man, has something to tell us, the youths, about revolution. It's a new video, probably three or four days ago. It is an interview. This man wants to tell us about revolution. This man is telling us that we, the youth, the current youth of nowadays, we are lame, we are dumb, because during their own time, they stood firm and fought for the so-called freedom that the zoo is enjoying today. In fact, just like as I said before, I don't want to talk too much. I will play the video for you, for you to watch. You watch the video, use your tongue and count your teeth. The time has come. What is happening in the zoo today is worse than what happened in Arab. In what happened uh, to the Egyptians. It's worse, that, it's worse than what happened any other place that caused revolution. The Arab Spring is what is happening today in the zoo is far worse than what happened that caused the Arab Spring and every other revolution all over the world. So what is holding us? Why are we still waiting? What are we waiting for? The Nigerian youths, you people have ashamed all of us. What are we still waiting for? In fact, let me play the video of Pa Ayo Adebanjo and then we will come back for the remaining analysis. Don't go nowhere because we have a lot in the kitchen. Is that their fault because you people are just high? On a final note, what will you advise the youth of the southeast? The youth? You people are, you are collaborating with them. You be checking now as a press officer to Buhari. You say hey, Buhari is the best man in Nigeria. You are too materialistic. Freedom is never granted. Freedom is won. You have not risen up. Even you use the students and all that. They are not the students that we know. They are not the students we are doing the Abacha days. How many of you have been on the street now? Since your scenario has been falling, since petrol prices have been, uh, have happened. been rising. Answers has happened. What, what, what did they do? Have you they, continued? They protested on the streets. What did they do? They bow you down. Oh. Have, is that the end? Have you heard of the Arab Spring? You are not prepared to fight. You can't get your freedom easily. Did you hear that, my people? He said, you cannot get your freedom easily. For those of you, whenever you hear me talk about revolution, you think, hey, 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 Aruna Amagi, kwa, kwa, kwa. Aruna Amagi, ji, ji, ji. You cannot get your freedom easily. I have explained this so many times. I have used a servant and the master to explain it. The importance of the servant to the master is higher than the importance of the wife and the son. Yes, they are the blood. They are his blood. But the servant occupies a very huge, you know, a, a vacuum in the life of the master because the servant serves the master. The son and the wife do not serve the master. The servant does. This is what we are in Nigeria. We serve the Nigeria. We serve the Fulani. 
the importance of Biafrans, the, the importance of Biafra land to Nigeria is that of the master and the, is that of the, the servant and the master. Because the servant, the, the, the Oye, what makes Nigeria the, giant, the so called giant of Africa today is coming from Biafra land. That is the reason why you cannot be free as easy as you think. You have to fight for it. Yes. Now let us listen to him again. Because these people are not prepared to yield. You have to show them. It's either you yield or I, I have repeated this. It's either we restructure this country to federalism, everybody has own autonomy, or Nigeria will break. If they don't allow Southeast to be president on this side, that is the end of Nigeria. I'm not hitting it. How can you have peace in a country where a section of the country is being discriminated against? It's simple. And we tell you, if one peace, let us do this. As he responded to it, he's negotiating with criminals. He's not negotiating with those who want to leave the country and ask them, why do you want to leave now? After all, we are one. When last, when, since he came to office, when have you seen the head of state addressing the nation? Even on May Day. It's your affair. As for me, at 94, I'm only saying this for your, for, for your sake. If you can't find your cause, it's just too bad. If you allow it to continue, and you allow yourself to be tempted by the crumbs of the table. Do you think agitation is the best response? Marginalization of the Southeast. If you don't know how to do that, you die where you are. Ordinary civil disobedience. It is people like you and your age. If you don't know how to rescue yourself, you are not going to find it easy. You are going, you are going to resist. Tyranny is tyranny. Wow, 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 wow. Tyranny is tyranny. Did you get that? If you don't know how to resist, then you'll be there. you continue eating the crumb from the master's table. That is what the man is telling you. He said that you must hit the street. You must hit them hard. People fight for freedom. It doesn't come. It's not giving. Freedom is not giving, my people. Why is it that whenever I talk about fighting for freedom, people think it is it is something it's suicidal yes it's suicidal but did you hear him say ordinary civil disobedience is hard for people to to do ordinary civil disobedience we talk about sit at home you see people you see people, they think that on Monday is the day, the best day they make their end meet. On Monday is the, best, the only day if they fail to work on Monday, they will die. Hungry will kill them and their family members. And with the attitude of this type of people, how do you get freedom? <laughs> As if the people who are observing the civil disobedience are either lesser human beings or maybe they, they are the people that need freedom. Maybe the people who are observing civil disobedience are the people that do not know what is happening. They don't know how to make money on Mondays. Now we are talking about three days sit at home. Starting from tomorrow. 16, 17 and 18. So many of you, Osiginantin Kabanye, Osiginantin cause of people. And this is an opportunity for us to send message across the board. The whole world will know and see with their own eyes how serious we are for freedom. And if you fail to observe it, if you fail to adhere to the call, how do you get your freedom? It's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate that our people are still lame up to today. Look at what is happening in the north. Just take a look at what is happening in Sokoto today. See how they have destroyed businesses worth billions of naira. In Sokoto, just because two people were arrested over the killing of uh, uh, Deborah, Deborah Samuel Yakubu. Can you imagine that? 
And I ask, this Deborah Yakubu from North as well, but Christian, the, who, where are the people? As in, is she not from a place? Where the, who, who, we want to see the people, both the family members, the villagers, the state, you know, uh, uh, the, the youth from her state, where she come from. Where are they? It is quite unfortunate. Now, as they are busy now, Fulani youths are busy destroying businesses of the Igbos, the Biafran people, and the Yoruba people, including some of them from Middle Belt in, the, in Jos. What is our response? What is the response of the, the, the people from Biafra land? What is the response of the people from Oduduwa land? What is the response of the people from Middle Belt? Because I believe that this is the opportunity for us to march. This is the opportunity for revolution. And the earlier we understand it, the better for all of us. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go viral.